Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Yasu's Universe, it's me, Yasu. This is going to be an all signs reading from now until the end of June. You guys, please check out all of the other all signs readings that I've done. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Leave me a comment, leave me a love donation. If you like, I really appreciate it. You can book a personal reading with me as well. And let's jump into it. Check the description box as well, you guys. All right. Starting with Leo. I saw the moon try to pop out. You could be dealing with the cancer or have cancer in your chart. What messages do you have for Leo for now until the end of June? Sorry for my bird, y'all. Wow, the two of cups. That's beautiful. Okay. The Wheel of Fortune. The Nine of Swords. Why are you guys worried or stressed? You're wondering if someone is as interested in you as you are them or vice versa. Let's see. Clarify the Two of Cups for now until the end of June for Leo. The Knight of Swords. Okay. A Confession of Love. Hmm. From a Pisces, someone you haven't heard from or someone who doesn't speak up too often. What is this person saying to Leo or is this Leo speaking? Clarify the Knight of Swords. Page of Swords. They're saying, I've been watching you. I've been seeing you. I've had my eye on you. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune. You could have multiple people. Maybe this is what you're stressed about because you have a connection with two different people. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune for Leo from now until the end of June. Seven of Cups. Yeah, you have multiple people, but a lot of wonderful options. Taking a leap of faith. You're having a lot more fun. You're not being so serious. Why so serious, Leo? You've manifested this. Could be a Gemini. I feel like Leo's having fun. They're manifesting, got multiple people. But the reason why you're stressed is because now it's, things are getting serious. Okay? Now people are falling in love with you. Okay? Clarify the Nine of Swords. Yeah, people are falling in love with you. <laughs> it's getting very serious, Leo. Why is Leo stressed? Clarify the Nine of Swords for Leo from now until the end of June. We have the moon. Maybe some secrets are coming out. Clarify the moon. What's coming out? What's, what um, light is being shed? Clarify the moon for Leo. The chariot. Okay. So the stressful situation and what's centering this reading is Leo... You're realizing that you're actually no longer stuck in the situation. You don't have to do anything you don't want to do anymore. You're not tied to any people that you've been tied to, especially in a negative connotation. You are actually moving forward. You can and you will. And maybe that's scary to you. You're worried what people may think. You're worried what people may say. Don't be. Don't be, Leo. Don't stress yourself worrying too much about others move forward leo you could be dealing with a cancer or a gemini i'm only i only read the majors y'all you could be dealing with the cancer gemini taurus aquarius scorpio leo beautiful all right moving on to virgo spirit what messages do you have for virgo from now until the end of june this is for virgo you could be dealing with an aquarius Right, or have Aquarius in your chart. This is for Virgo. Seven of Wands, you're blocking something, or are you fighting for this relationship? All right, anything else? Sevens could be important. Seven, seven, seven. July is coming up. Are you fighting for this connection? Fighting for 
this soulmate. What is this? Five of Cups. With the tower, there's a big change. Are you resisting change, Virgo? Clarify the Seven of Wands for Virgo, please. You have the Nine of Swords as well. You could be dealing with the Leo or have Leo in your chart with the Two of Cups. Maybe you want to reconcile with a with someone. If you don't want to reconcile with someone, I'm seeing that you this go round, you want to have a lot more fight in you when it comes to your relationships or with this person. This go round, you want to be intentional. This go round, you don't want to give up until you just can't go no more. Maybe in the past you used to give up too easily. Clarify the six of cups for Virgo. The Eight of Cups. You are walking away from something. You have wish fulfillment somewhere else. Mm. Clarify the Five of Cups. This means you might have to leave one person and go towards another person. You don't want to hurt anyone. The Nine of Wands. Yeah, you don't want to hurt anyone. Maybe you're the one who's hurt. Because someone left you to go towards someone else. A lot of changes. What's this Knight of Swords doing? The King of Pentacles. Someone wants to invest in you, take a leap of faith with you, or this is you. Okay, you're fighting for maintaining your independence. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. Yeah, Aquariuses are like that. Clarify the Six of Cups and the Eight of Cups. You've closed out a cycle. Yeah, you could be dealing with the Leo. A lot of the same cards are coming out that Leo had you're closing out a cycle so maybe you're ending a cycle with a with someone and trying to start over again with them or you're ending that cycle and you're focused on yourself because you want to protect your independence all right clarify the five of cups and the nine of wands for Virgo king of swords you are cutting someone or something out and you are moving forward as well and the ten of swords and the sun moving to your happiness eight of wands so, you could be dealing with an Aries. What's the synopsis for Virgo from now until the end of June? Three of Swords, healing. You will be focused on healing, Virgo. Okay? I see earth, water, fire, and air. You could be dealing with a, I was going to say Gemini. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, or a Leo. All right. Libra. All right. Messages for Libra, please. There you go, Libra. The Empress. All right. This is for Libra from now until the end of June. death card could be dealing with the scorpio there are endings endings of connections endings of relationships maybe divorce um closing one door opening another this is for libra and you're working on something else seeing someone else dating some someone else beautiful you will be you will be great from now until the end of june you're closing cycles and you're really working on yourself we go from the eight of pentacles to the nine of pentacles you have nothing to worry about financially you're beautiful you're abundant and you're well taken care of because you take care of yourself you're balanced you don't you never i see you're not giving too much of yourself anymore you're done doing that clarify the death card temperance yep things being balanced could be done with the scorpio sag or scorpio sag cuss you want peace. You're cutting out anything that's bringing conflict, chaos, or confusion. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles. You could be getting a, a small raise, an increase, a loan. What is that thing called? I was going to say paying forward. So maybe you're paying forward something, but that's not what I meant. What is that thing called? An advance. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles. The Nine of Swords. What are you stressed about, though? The Hermit. You're stressed about a Virgo. 
you you can't spend as much time with the people you love i think that's what it is you're not able to spend you're not able to spend enough time with this aries or you're a boss now and you have a lot on your plate a lot of responsibilities but i feel like this is something you decided to take on for your financial freedom and abundance or you're doing it for your children the magician you're dealing with the gemini i see you might be getting a second chance at some type of work job or project but you have a lot of work to do you have a lot on your plate overall theme for you libra is you have options explore take a leap of faith okay see what there is to see taste what it is to taste what is it taste and you shall see something like that seeking you shall find so i do see money i don't see love but i do see peace like it's peaceful but you do have a lot on your plate maybe you're overthinking a business plan or strategy don't do that open be open to different options as well you could be doing i see earth and air but you can be dealing with a Gemini, Aries, Scorpio, Sagittarius. All right. Moving on to Scorpio. to the end of June, please. The Ace of Pentacles, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, what else, please? Knight of Swords, okay. We have the Page of Pentacles. It's about money for you as well, Scorpio, from now until the end of June. The Emperor, yeah. You want to change statuses. You want a race. You want a promotion. You want a status change. Also, um, yeah, we have the Five of Pentacles. You don't ever want to be broke again, ever. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles for Scorpio. Ten of Swords, Six of Swords, yeah. Whatever ended, so you may have ended a job, ended a career, maybe you did lose a job. So, or whatever was lost, if you're going through a shortage of money, a shortage of love, a shortage of whatever it is that is in drought, you're trying to make a comeback. That's your main focus from now until the end of June. Just bouncing back, okay? Yeah, Seven of Wands. You don't want any distractions. Clarify the Emperor. Page of Pentacles. No distractions. Yeah, like I said, here's the Empress right here. I see the, the um, dedication that you're putting into yourself, making that comeback, trying to glow up, get your finances back in order. You're manifesting your Empress. Here's Divine Masculine and Feminine right here with the lovers at the bottom. Divine Union. I do see that there may be someone coming in trying to disguise themselves as your person. That's not them. Cut them out. And don't even play their mind games. Don't even do it. Yeah, here's the King and Queen of Swords as well. Hmm. Could you have two soulmates coming? We have two pairs. So I see you getting a lot of rest. You're thinking a lot. Ending, what, ending one thing, moving towards another thing. You're recuperating and you're trying to make a comeback. You're focusing on your family, your money, and your stability. And you could, I see you could possibly be getting married or in a higher level of commitment. Um, I see earth, air, and fire. You could be dealing with an Aries, Libra, Gemini, okay, or a Taurus. Moving on to Sagittarius. for Sagittarius, please, from now until the end of June 2022. Okay, could be dealing with the Taurus. You're learning something, you're teaching something. High levels of commitment. 
also some type of institution. A, um, a, I hear a bank or a loan. You could be dealing with a Virgo. Two of Swords. You're ignoring someone or something. Yeah, you ghosted them. Someone is ignoring you with the Two of Swords. And this is causing drama. Clarify the Hierophant. Who is this, Sag? You're focused on money. You're getting a loan with the Eight of Pentacles. Or a grant or a scholarship. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles and the Hierophant for Sagittarius. Sorry, I have a bird. Nine of Pentacles, beautiful. If you start that, you, I'm taking you outside. I'm putting you outside if you do that. I know. Okay, please be good. Okay, so here's the Hierophant, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Nine of Pentacles. There's a change in your finances, influx, so new financial brackets, things like that. So whatever you're working towards, you're going to receive the fruits of your labor. And I see you've been putting your nose to the grind, nose to the concrete. You ain't been in nobody's face. Nobody's even heard from you or seen you with the Hermit card because you've been so focused because you've been working on your stuff that just that much okay and you're blowing up when you when you pop out when you make your appearance you gonna you gonna be a completely different looking person people aren't even gonna recognize you yeah look at this wish fulfillment at the top wish fulfillment at the bottom as above so below that's your whole theme who is it sag i like this clarify the hermit Clean the swords. Yeah, you cut out any toxicity. I hear you change your diet as well. Maybe you don't eat red meats or something. Because you really need to focus. You want to focus your mind. Five of Cups. What's this Five of Cups and Two of Swords about? I hear you haven't been having sex either. You've been abstinent. Three of Swords. Ooh, Five of Wands. Why is this drama right here? The fool, you're acting foolish. Someone is acting foolish around you and you're trying to ignore them. Someone is acting a fool in your energy and you're trying to ignore them. Yeah, four of swords, you're doing everything you can to ignore this person. They don't like that. This person is all in your face trying to be important, trying to get attention. It's because they like you. You don't like them back. It could also be your ex, the mother of your child, the father of your child. Yeah, they want to get back together with you. I saw the two of cups and the three of cups. But you don't want to. Also, I hear a gold digger in your energy. So be careful. All right, good fortune. That's the overall synopsis is you changing your life. From now until the end of June, you will be changing your life. Um, I see air, water, and earth. No fire has came out. Could be a Sagittarius with this or a Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius, Aries, Pisces, Aquarius, Virgo, Taurus. All right, moving on to Capricorn. Capricorn, you could have Libra in your chart or dealing with a Libra. Messages for Capricorn from now until the end of June 2022. Queen of Cups, you're in love with someone, someone is in love with you, and you sexy as all get out, or that's how you feel about this person. I'm sorry, uh, the light is not working with me. Okay, we got the Six of Pentacles. And the lovers, you can be dealing with the Gemini or have multiple options with the Seven of Cups. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Capricorn from now until the end of June 2022, please. 
the magician. Yeah, more Gemini. You manifested self-love. Someone loves you. Some type of relationship. Higher level of commitment with the magician and the the hierophant. What about the six of pentacles? I hear co-parenting. I hear someone is a surrogate mother. Surrogate. Hmm. Knight of Swords. Why is this Knight of Swords here with the Six of Pentacles? What's this Knight of Swords doing or saying? The Tower wanted to come out so it surprised a big change. Eight of um, Swords. Hmm. Someone could be you someone could be you could be figuring out that someone is pregnant and you are worried or heartbroken because you don't want to have any more kids. Why is this three of swords here? There could be multiple people involved. King of Cups. He's the king and queen of cups. So why is there heartbreak surrounded by your divine counterpart? You two are in a disagreement. Clarify the lovers. Nine of Pentacles. Someone wants to, to become single or remain independent or be in this relationship and still act single. There's something toxic about this. One person is ready for commitment. Someone has commitment um, fears. This is your soulmate. King of Cups, Queen of, Queen of Cups. A match, a divine pair. Someone is ready for it and the other is not. Someone wants to remain single. Someone has baggage. Okay, what's the overall synopsis? Yeah, they're not ready to open up. What's the overall synopsis? Or someone found out something. The overall synopsis is the Seven of Cups. Okay, keep your options open because this person is not ready. Okay. Maybe you're meeting the one and you're not ready yet, but... Um, consider your options. That's the energy for you from now until the end of June. You uh, you pulled water, air, and earth. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, Gemini, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus. All right, moving on to Aquarius. Messages for Aquarius from now until the end of June. We pulled the Eight of, of Wands, I'm sorry. Communication, travel. Okay, the Devil card. Mm, could be dealing with the Capricorn. And then we have the Knight of Pentacles coming out reversed. Why is the Eight of Wands here? Six of Wands, victory and success. I'm sorry, y'all. Just bear with me. The light's not working. It's just not doing right. Okay, we have the um, death card. So maybe some type of renewal ending for a new beginning. What is this? We have the Eight of Wands and Six of Wands, but the devil card is here. So maybe you're getting everything you want. I don't want to read the devil as a bad energy. I... I see two um, different Aquarius. Some of you Aquarius are going in this situation or whatever it is you're going jumping into, and it's everything you want in the beginning. But for some reason, something turns toxic with the Devil card, and then you don't even want to invest in it anymore. What is this? Yeah, and you want to end it. That's like the energy I'm getting. Clarify the Devil. For Aquarius, for now until the end of June, be careful. A big commitment. It's a toxic commitment. So it's a big commitment. Clarify the hairpin. What's so toxic about this? For just clarify the hairpin, please. Tell me what this is. For Aquarius, please. The star. Queen of Pentacles. Seven of Swords. I knew it. It's something. You're avoiding this commitment. You, 
you have this thing I, whoa that's not usually how aquarius are aquarius aren't super if they if there's something an aquarius wants they get it but i'm wondering after you get it you don't want it anymore so is this a warning for you aquarius you're too flighty you don't stick you don't stick things out you don't stick things through Aquarius usually do actually so is this a warning to stick it out stick it through or is this a warning to avoid it all together because mm. we have the seven of swords right here but we have the queen of pentacles an investor <coughs> excuse me clarify the knight of pentacles reverse you don't have to choose what side you want Page of Pentacles. There's something new. There's something else. It's two things. You can't make up your mind about them. Could be two people. <laughs> you could be getting everything that you want, Aquarius. Including two people. What's the overall synopsis from now until the end of June for Aquarius? Ace of Pentacles. You got a brand new start, a brand new beginning. Go to where the money resides. The money resides. The money resides. Choose stability. Possible. I... <sighs> hmm. Yeah, choose stability. Cut the deck. Here's the King of Pentacles. Yeah, but you let your intuition guide you. Also, be open to the experience. Be open to the experience, Aquarius. I see fire, earth, fire and earth. You could be dealing with, I see water too, but mainly fire and earth. You could be dealing with a Capricorn Taurus or an Aquarius. All right, moving on to Pisces. What messages do you have for Pisces from now until the end of June, please? The Chariot could be dealing with the Cancer. The Magician, a Gemini Cancer. I'm sorry, Gemini Cancer Cuss. And the high priestess, you, you pulled yourself with the devil. All of these majors that are coming out, there's a big change, a big shift coming for you from now until the end of June, uh, moving into July. Clarify the chariot, queen of pentacles, more stability, also possibly more responsibility with the queen of pentacles. I see a Virgo and I see the truth coming out, clarity. Um, roadblocks being removed as well. You're seeing things a lot more clearly. Clarify the magician for Pisces. Seven of Swords. You're sneaking around with a Gemini. The Gemini is sneaking around with you, or somebody's being manipulative with the magician and the Seven of Swords coming out back to back. What's this? Somebody's playing with your heart. What is this? Clarify this. What is that? It could be you. King of Pentacles. We have an earth sign, but also a pair, a match. The Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. You have Aquarius in your chart. So you have a divine match right here. But for some reason, I'm not, I'm not sure why this seven of swords is here maybe there's another person king of cups clarify the seven of swords okay the sun you're hiding a child and someone is hiding a child avoiding a child the moon divine masculine and feminine right here okay hmm hmm clarify the high priestess there is a secret Clarify the High Priestess for Pisces from now until the end of June. 
seven of pentacles an investment a secret investment could be a child seven weeks seven months the ace of wands that's sex right there how do you get a child by having sex so maybe you're going to a baby shower planning a surprise the seven of swords could be a surprise not trying to keep the surprise a secret the overall synopsis for you is the six of wands victory success and also um people are in your business you if you think you're doing something in secret people see you the six of wands is a seen card people see this happening okay and the ace of cups which represents a child there's a baby here with the four of wands Family. There's a there's a relationship, a connection that's blossoming, and I'm wondering if you're trying to avoid it, or if you don't see it coming, or if you've been doing this in secret this whole time. Okay. From now until the end of June, this actually looks like beautiful, beautiful energy for you. Who is, who are we on? Pisces. Okay. You pull fire water mainly majors oh i hurt my foot how did i do that oh that hurts really bad my foot i think it's a nail in my carpet oh that really grinds my gears okay sorry um you pulled fire earth fire and earth so you could be dealing with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn Cancer Leo Gemini Pisces all right moving on to Aries messages for Aries from now until the end of June 2022 You're focusing on yourself and your money. All right, this is for Aries, please. That really hurt my foot. I knew it was gonna come out the night of wands, the night of sex, the night of passion. Okay. <laughs> got the page of pentacles coming out as well you're interested in someone or something a sagittarius or a sagittarius is interested in you knight of swords two knights clarify the knight of wands for aries from now until the end of june The six of swords i hear somebody is making some type of strategy to um i hear a diversion <laughs> so someone can't see what's really going on or something what is that hmm. there's more than what meets the eye here aries and i feel like you're only letting people see surface level. There's un something underneath because I'm seeing some. I'm seeing a diversion tactic. Clarify the Knight of Wands and the Six of Swords. Page of Cups. Two, one, two, three, four people. All right. An apology. You're interested in someone or something. Clarify the Page of Pentacles for Aries. Hmm. Okay. The Queen of Wands. So I'm saying you realize that this th this is you, okay? Both of these are you. This is the old you that you walked away from. And you're starting a new version of yourself. A higher version of yourself. 
So I feel like you're going through the dark night of the soul because the Knight of Wands, this represents fire energy, but it's it um this just has not been working for you. Page of Cups. If I had to choose between the Page of Cups and Page of Pentacles, I'd choose the Page of Pentacles. I don't feel the Page of Cups has enough oomph to actually give you anything. The Page of Cups is coming off as kind of annoying as well. So I don't know if you were getting annoyed with yourself for being this way and you decided to make that change with the Six of Swords. Clarify the Knight of Swords. Six of Cups. Yeah, you're doing it for your children. So I don't know if you've just been... I, like you're doing it for your children or your child you're, you've been living an unstable life you've been from job to job or home to home and you don't want to do that anymore you want to bring more stability to your family more stability to your child more stability to yourself and your life so i hear you're getting a lucky break all right the devil is the overall synopsis there are things that are toxic or this Capricorn or things that you like to indulge in that's not good for you or anyone. And you, I feel like you're, if you haven't decided yet to stop doing it, you will from now until the end of June. Okay. I don't know if you're doing drugs or something. And I feel like somebody's coming up to you asking you if you want to, hey, let's go drink or hey, let's go do drugs or something. And you're like, nah, like please leave. I don't want to do that. Like I'm, I'm with my child right now, or I'm trying to, I'm trying to go to work right now, something like that. Also, I feel like there's somebody who always comes to you asking you to do shit, to do stuff that you said that you weren't going to do anymore. And you're, and you're telling them like, you know, I'm trying to stop doing this. You know, I said that I didn't want to do this anymore. Why do you keep asking me if I want to do this? Okay. Or something like that. So you pulled water fire air and earth the only major that came out is capricorn all right that, who is that aries moving on to taurus g a a n o o u all right, Taurus, messages for you from now until the end of June. We got the Seven of Cups. You're exploring your options. I think you like this. Yep, Ten of Cups. So you find your happiness in one of these options, in one of these cups. Five of Wands, but someone who you did not choose does not like that. <laughs> Oh my goodness, what is this? Clarify the Seven of Cups for Taurus. Three of Pentacles. I hear that song. I never had a heartbreak. No way. Not me. She's officially the first to say no. So somebody's getting humbled. You're officially the first person to decline this person. This person is officially the first person to say no to you. Hmm. Page of Cups, Page of Swords, Page of Pentacles. That's three pages now. Three pages with the Three of Pentacles. Now, when I tell you, I don't know if this is an orgy. We got the Three of Pentacles with three pages. With the Seven of Cups, I don't know what y'all are into, Taurus. If y'all are polygamous. Um, yeah, y'all could be polygamous. We got the Ten of Cups right here. So, y'all have multiple wives, multiple dudes or something like that, Taurus. Like, people don't like how you have all these options. I feel like your options are starting to bicker or fight because you want to, they want you to choose one. <laughs> what did you get yourself into? Judgment. You will be making a decision. Between who you gonna choose? Are you on some type of reality TV show? <laughs> King of Cups. You're going to choose the water sign. This Cancer. Mm.
also capricorn what i'm seeing is maybe you have three projects three opportunities one that makes you happy one that brings you stability or one that fulfills you intellectually or something one that feel, fulfills you emotionally one that fills you financially or fulfills you mentally and you're choosing between or maybe you're trying to find a balance between your your emotions money and your thoughts in your mind i'm not sure because this is i'm getting a lot of messages and I, to be honest i'm getting overwhelmed are you getting overwhelmed and you're deciding to just take a break what's the overall and yeah you're deciding to take a break what's the overall energy for who is this we did Taurus already, didn't we? This is Gemini. Did I say Capricorn? Did I say Capricorn? Who is this that we're doing? I did Aries already. After Aries is Taurus. This is Taurus. This is Taurus. We're not on Gemini yet. I'm sorry. This is Taurus. Overall synopsis for you. Overall energy for you in June. You are having a good time. The star, you're... you're um, in the public eye or you're known by a lot of people wish fulfillment you're making a wish things like that very humanitarian trying to make sure some things are about a lot of things are balanced in your life i see three opportunities or three people coming to you back to back to back so maybe you have a lot on your plate as well taurus and you just don't have time You might also have three <laughs> three children, three baby mamas, or three different people. <laughs> I'm hearing I got holes in different area codes. Move move around, Taurus. <laughs> I see it. Air, earth, water, a little bit of fire. But you pulled Aquarius, Cancer strongly, Sagittarius, Scorpio. All right, now we're on Gemini. All right, messages for Gemini from now until the end of June 2022. Four of Pentacles, you're holding back for what? And you're ending something? King of Cups, you're trying to hold back your emotions or you don't want to let someone go. All right. This is for Gemini, King of Pentacles. There are two people, so maybe you aren't, you haven't came out the closet yet. Someone that you know has not come out the closet yet. This could be Crow Swatcher who has not come out the closet yet. You could be a man who likes men. Okay, what is this? An emotional investment and a financial investment. We have the Queen of Cups right here. So there's someone that you are in love with. And we have the King and Queen of Cups, a pair. Clarify the Four of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. I see the Five of Cups and the Three of Swords. Why is that coming out? Eight of Swords, there's someone that you cannot let go of. Seven of Swords, but you're sneaking around with somebody else. What is this? What is this? Seven of Pentacles. Nine of Cups. This water sign is your wish fulfillment and you spent a lot of time on this person or you invested a lot of time. Y'all have history. But for some reason, there's a stalemate or something is haunted or blocked. Clarify the King of Pentacles. The Hierophant, Three of Swords, Ten of Swords. This earth sign, this earth sign is causing you heartbreak or something? Two of swords. I mean, not two of swords. It's the two of cups, y'all. What, what is this trying to say? You have a lot of time and a lot of love for someone that you are already with, this king and queen of cups. But this king of pentacles is in here 
but you're married to this person. So, okay. This is how I'm going to read it. Who is this for? Gemini? Gemini. If you're with an earth sign or a Taurus, Pisces, or air sign, you're getting a divorce. We got the three of swords and the ten of swords with, next to the commitment card. You're getting a divorce. You're falling out of love with this person. There's someone else that you're in love with. This water sign. This Cancer Pisces Scorpio. What's the overall energy for Gemini from now until the end of June 2022? The whole thing, the overall thing. Seven of Cups options. This Cancer, someone with water in their chart. So water sign, who is your wish fulfillment? Claire, I see the Queen of Pentacles though. There are two pairs here. So maybe you're just arguing or fighting with this person. If you keep doing that, I'm going to take you outside. You want to go outside? Okay, you're tripping right now. King of Swords. There, there's some decisions that you got to make be logical about this. Also, for some of you, you want to, um, you just want to be single again. You're conflicted about being in this relationship because you might want to be single again. You really tripping. You tripping like hard. You know I don't like when you scream like that. Like, that's too much. You could be dealing with the Pisces, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, last but not least, Cancer. I'm going to try to get this done with my bird. It's doing too much. Messages for Cancer from now until the end of June. Gemini with the Magician, Aries, Pisces, Aquarius with the Fool, Nine of Wands. Okay, let's see. You don't have to do that. Okay. The Sun card could be a Leo. Hmm. You're manifesting a new beginning and some happiness as well from now until the end of June. I feel like you're closing one door, going through another one. Three of Pentacles. Okay. I see you're getting some help as well. Yeah, you are getting help and a big increase for you. We go from the Three of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles. So I don't know if you're getting married, getting a loan, a grant, something like that. Is nine of Wands, Six of Cups, the Hermit, Two of Pentacles. You're juggling whether you want to. No, you don't want to. You don't want to be with the person from the past. You want a new person. You do. Overall synopsis for Cancer. Five of Swords. Woo! You're not giving up without a fight, and you're fighting for your happiness. You're fighting for this new beginning, okay? You got your guards up, and you're playing this love game really smart, really smart. You are the empress, and you don't want any foolishness coming around you, your surroundings, your home, your children. You don't want anything affecting your peace. I do see a new beginning coming for you. You are walking away from things that no longer serve you. I do see an increase in finances as well. Things needing to be balanced, especially the past. Possibly closing doors from the past. I see water and earth. Air and fire. Um, but the majors you have, you could be dealing with a Virgo. Leo, Gemini, Aries, Pisces, Aquarius. 
or a cancer. This is all I have for you guys. Sorry again for my bird. I love you all. Until I see you again, check the description box. You can like, share, subscribe. Leave me a comment. If you'd like to leave a love donation, I greatly appreciate it. You can leave a love donation to our PayPal Cash app or GoFundMe. Until I see you all again, check out all of the other All Signs readings. And also, I've done your June monthlies already as well. Until I see you again, y'all be safe. Bye-bye.